Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 15 Mischief Managed Free Play for LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. Now on the right you can see all the collectibles are obtained, minus that one gold brick. The true wizard is set at 50k. Now it's important on the left, we do require a Slytherin character in order to complete this. And it is uh, helpful to note that a strong character would help, but not required. And uh, also, uh, Dark Arts or Dark Magic Wizard is also on the list of needs to have. So once you're ready to go, go ahead and select Mischief Manage from the free play menu there. And we're off and running. Now, right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and destroy the cabinet on the right-hand side. We're actually going to smack it. It's going to drop some bricks for us. We're going to build those up into a silver knight. The knight's then going to have a box. We're going to smack him. The box is actually going to reveal the key for the right side there, but it looks like we need one more key. So we're going to run around and smack everything in sight with our two times multiplier. It's going to help us get closer to that 50K. And on the left-hand side, you're going to notice that there is a little bit of a uh, torch. You're going to pick that up with Wingardium Leviosa and go ahead and use it to lift it up and free the key. Free the key. Now, once you get both keys in the door and you spin it, it opens up. And before leaving, you're going to want to go ahead and take out the gold knight there. And uh, you notice he's first of five. The second one's right outside the doors. You just saw a snap there. And the third one's going to be down and around the corner. And we're going to get him and grab all the studs and keep on keeping on down the hallway. And we do kind of go excessively after a handful of studs here just because we weren't sure uh, how many studs were going to be available to us. And once you get into the room, uh, well, it's kind of a four-way intersection, but you're kind of blocked off, so there's really nowhere to go. But in each of the corners as you walk in, you'll notice the last two gold statues. Go ahead and take both of them out and reap your reward, which happens to be the first house crest, the bluesy. And uh, then we'll get to getting on the rest of the stuff in here. Notice that we did use Immobilize to take down that pixie there, which he dropped a hammer, but we're going to come back to that in a minute. Over on the front left side of the room, there is a bookshelf. We're going to use Hermione to go ahead and solve the puzzle here. Little game of memory never hurt nobody. And, uh, well, unless you got no memory, then, I, then, then that might not be good. But uh, once you get the puzzle solved, it drops a couple of pieces of wood. We're going to go ahead and build those up into what seems to be a table, but Harry's kind of playing games on us here. He's lifting the table before we can actually get on it to write it up to the top. So third time will prove to be the charm. And once you get up there, there's not only a handful of blues, but there's also a purple and a character token up there. So booyah kashow on that. Now, hey, if you're unfamiliar with our videos, we do actually have the collectible quick links down below in the video description. Use those in order to get to the next item of choice. And, uh, yeah, you notice that we did solve that puzzle color-coded there. And uh, once we got the puzzle solved, we dropped down and used the strongman handle. You could use the, the old cauldron and drink the, what, I believe it's the polyjuice potion? I don't remember. It's the one that makes you strong. And uh, in order to get the cauldron going, you have to get all three of the items that we just showed you there. The tooth on the right, the bones in the middle, and the little flower on the left. But speaking of other things, there is a glowing orb on the front right after you pull the strongman chain. Go ahead and use dark magic to go ahead and reveal the second house crest. And then make your way down the tunnel and you'll find yourself out in kind of this courtyard here. Um, there are a few things that you can manipulate to get some studs, but most importantly, down on the far right, there is a fountain. You're going to have to destroy all four of the corners, which then reveals some bouncing bricks. We'll use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and build those up and then spin that wheel to win. And uh, actually what it does is it turns on the fountain and grows some flowers, which then gives us access to get up top. Now, I mentioned there are some things to manipulate. We did kind of bypass a handful of items down there, but it's only because we didn't need to do it. And when we get all the way to the top, we're going to use our dark magic on the black glowing orb bits to go in ahead and get inside and grab that house crest. Now on the left, we're going to go ahead and just destroy the lock, which actually frees the student in peril and also gives us access to the character token number two, which is the gray lady. She looks awfully gray these days. Now, you probably already got this character token in the story mode, but if you didn't, you're going to go ahead and hop behind all that chicken. I don't know if, uh, what kind of chicken that is. It looked like some fried chicken, but uh, go ahead and hop in there. Grab the third and final character token. Now, because we are in free play and we can select whatever character we want, you can actually select both character to be Harry and then pull out your cloak. 
Now, unfortunately for me, every time I have Harry, uh, uh, what, what is it, Filch? I believe is his name. Filch sees me, and I have to go and smack his cat around, and uh, I try to put my cloak on again, but he always sees me before I get that cloak on. So as long as you're out of sight and out of mind, and you get that cloak on, you should be just fine. So you can see I finally get all the way over, and he loses track of me, and now I'm invisible. Make your way all the way to the far right side. There is a cauldron down below that you can build up and use a potion to be invisible too, but we found this way to be easy, easier as long as you just don't get spotted. All right, once you get inside, you're in this hallway here. This is where that Slytherin character is required. We're going to go ahead and use Professor Snape because we already had him. He was easy enough. And we'll go ahead and wave to the character in the uh, picture frame there at the end of the hallway. And he'll go ahead and kick down with the final house crest there. So pat yourselves on the back. That's actually all the collectibles for this level. And hopefully you found it uh, easily obtained. It was pretty quick, actually. Look at that. We're at, what, six-minute mark? We got them all done. There's a little bit left. You do have to wave to this guy. But in order to do so, um, you uh, well, actually, you play him You play him a smooth little lullaby. And you have to build up some parts that we ran right by and make, I believe that's a, what, a floating cello of some sort. I don't know. I, I would have chose the keytar myself because I'm more of a keytar player. But once you load that wizard to sleep, he drops the key, which then allows you access to grab it, put it in the door, and roll out to the final total. So one, two, three character tokens. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, and the house crests, one, two, three, four, all of them obtained as promised. We do hit that true wizard status. We got it real early thanks to that purple stud along with those blues uh, along that, what, first character token, I believe it was? So, oh, yeah, add up them studs. We ain't managed to, and, of course, turn that frown upside down. We freed that student in peril who was just outside uh, up on that ledge up there couple of gold bricks. Hey, we're almost to that halfway point of that, but you know what that means. It means it's time to roll out. And that'll do it for LEGO Harry Potter, years 1 through 4, level 15, Mischief Manage, free play! We got all four house crests, we got all three character tokens, and we turned that frown upside down by saving that student in peril. And if we turn your frown upside down, or you have a suggestion, or just simply want to comment, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or drop that comment down below. Uh, of course, a thumb up or thumb down would be appropriately uh, added into that conversation, too. Hey, all we ask is if you do give us a thumbs down, you let us know why. Um, we always are into improving our videos around here, as you guys may have noticed. And, uh, you know, if we did something wrong, let us know. We'll go ahead and try and correct it or do better next time. Uh, that being said, we also have an Instagram, G+, and a Twitch page, as well as HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guides. If you guys are more of a visual, textual type person that likes to read and keep track of things, who knows, maybe you like to print stuff off and cross off things, our trophy achievement guides are perfect for that. So uh, check those out. As always, until next time, see ya! No sense in making your wait around for that one, huh? It's quickie. See ya!